Plagioclase is easily distinguished by multiple albite twins, if present. Other properties are typical of felspars in general. Untwinned albite is difficult to distinguish from quartz, orphoclase and cordierite. Albite twins are typically very narrow in sodic plagioclase. Extinction angles are less than about 15 degrees. Twins may be diffuse if cut at less than 90 degrees. Twins are not visible here as this grain is cut parallel to the twinning. Twinning is commonly weakly developed or absent in albitic plagioclase. The refractive index of albitic plagioclase is higher than for K felspar, but lower than for quartz, as shown by the Becky line moving into the quartz near the top. Sodic plagioclase in some metamorphic rocks commonly lacks twinning, as shown by this porphyroblast, and commonly contains inclusions, but otherwise resembles quartz or cordierite. Slowly cooled sodic plagioclase can contain exsolved inclusions of K felspar, here microcline. The Becky line always moves from the potassium felspar into the plagioclase when the focus is raised. Another example of sodic plagioclase with exsolved K felspar. This mixture is called antiperthite. The Becky line moves from the exsolved blebs into the host plagioclase. Albite alters to sericitic mica, but it's less susceptible to alteration than calcic plagioclase. Sodic plagioclase on the left is more susceptible to this alteration than microcline on the right.